Santa Clarita's Hometown Station, AM 1220 KHTS. Hey, make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest Santa Clarita has to offer. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and always keep tuned here to your hometown station. Uh, joined on the phone now, I have a very special guest on the line, and it is none other than, none other rather than Bob Sigmund. He is the director of the Film History Museum uh, at Lone Pine. And we have uh, Bob, how you doing? Good morning. Very good, thank you. Yeah, and so uh, there is just a quick drive up the 5 North, right? You get to uh, you get to go, go up to Lone Pine, and uh, you guys have a Film History Museum over there. Uh, Bob, I want to start, I wanna start by um, asking you, what is your background? How did you get involved with the Lone Pine Film History Museum? Well, I, um, I've been involved in the entertainment business since the early 80s, and... Um, had the opportunity to move to California in 1993 as president and CEO of Republic Pictures, which many people would remember as the home studio of Roy Rogers, Gene Autry. Um, John Wayne made 33 pictures there, and, and It's a Wonderful Life was for Republic Film. So I got involved then and uh, on a trip with my children up to the eastern Sierra here, came out of Death Valley into the little town of Lone Pine, stayed overnight to find out that uh, Lone Pine was the, the home of uh, hundreds of westerns and uh, films that have been made here met some of the local people and and that led to a relationship uh, since ninety three uh, with the people and um, with what was their festival which had started in ninety eighty nine while i um, while I had my um, my position at Republic, I was back and forth to Lone Pine and moved actually to Virginia in two thousand and two but remained on the board and wow. returning to Lone Pine in two thousand and twelve for a board meeting. At the museum, uh, the director had left, and somebody said, would you consider stepping in for a short period of time? I said, well, for 90 days, and that was three years ago almost. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how it goes, right? And uh, now and the, the rest is history, uh, film history, as it were. Aha, see what I did there? Lone Pine Film History Museum dot org for more information. Can you give, uh, give, give the listeners some like uh, idea of what some of the stuff that has been filmed up there, some of the famous stuff that's been filmed up at Lone Pine? Well, you had uh, 27 Hoppy episodes were filmed up here, the original Lone Ranger. You've had Gene Autry, John Wayne, um, uh, every major Western star, writer, producer, director shot in Lone Pine. Over 700 movies have been shot here in the Eastern Sierra, including 1,000 TV commercials. For those that would see the, uh, the famous Alabama Hills, which are right above town below Mount Whitney, which is the tallest mountain in the continental United States, they would easily recognize uh, those hills from uh, many uh, truck commercials. The, um, and then we've had a number of non-Westerns made here, uh, most famous in 1938, Gunga um, Their first Iron Man uh, portion was made here, contemporary Django. Uh, Tarantino spent three months here with Django. Bogart High Sierra drove his uh, Plymouth down uh, Mount Whitney Road, uh, Whitney Portal Road here. So it's uh, a myriad of... Uh, Great commercials and uh, history for the area. That's 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 really cool. And uh, you guys just celebrated your 25th anniversary, right? We did, and uh, we start first festival was in 1989. Started out as a High Sierra Festival to, you know, bring increase the economy in town with with the history that had been here in film, and um, still going on. In fact, this year in October, Columbus Day weekend will be our 26th festival to be dedicated to the early years and. Uh, Fortunately, we will have uh, Tom Mix, who was an early silent star and went on to make a few uh, talkies. Uh, his car, he died in 1940 in a 1937 cord. There was about eight or nine of these particular cords made. And that car has been fully restored. And the gentleman that owns it, Bob White from Scottsdale, will bring that cord here for uh, the festival weekend, along with uh, we'll have a number of guest stars and celebrities and panels as we typically do celebrating uh, the early years of film uh, that's uh that's really cool and so uh and you guys have another you guys are going to do the 26th this october as this well. october 9th 10th and 11th of october oh cool so if somebody for somebody who's the, it's their first time going to the festival what can they expect going to that festival well it's like stepping back in history to some degree and uh, you know we have a, a varied mix about two thousand people uh, show up in lone pine for our annual festival and they'll uh, shake hands. Not you know, it was a time when we had Roy and Gene and all those famous people who were here with us over the years. But given their passing, we have the children and grandchildren. We had, for instance, uh, the daughter of Randolph Scott last year, and we showed uh, one of Randy's movies. Uh, then we have a panel afterwards. Leonard Malton 
is here from time to time, and so there'll be a discussion of not only of that particular movie, there'll be discussions of uh, Diamond Farnsworth, who lives uh, right outside of L.A., uh, does the, excuse me, does the um, stunt work for, stunt coordinator for all of NCIS. Diamond will be here with some other stuntmen talking about stunts and movies. It's a, it's a pretty varied weekend, cool. and we typically have a concert on Thursday night to launch it um, at the high school, and then, uh, of course, open house at the museum. Awesome. And, uh, okay, I, I have to ask you this. What's your favorite movie of all time? You're the director of the Lone Pine Film History Museum. <laughs> what, what's your favorite movie? What's the one that you're uh, always no, sticking in there? I love them all. It, I fortunately got to know Roy Rogers and Gene Autry and, uh, and many of these people. And, uh, and uh, you know, there's, I have a huge collection. Of course, we have, a, we have a show a lot of movies here at the museum, so no one favorite. There's no one that you play more often than others, no, though, like I at the museum. Okay, all right. all right. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb, though, and say that you're a big fan of Westerns. I am a big fan of Westerns. I love the the overall uh, heritage and uh, the good guy, bad guy uh, redemption uh, issue of Westerns. Okay, so what, uh, for somebody, you know, that wants, what's a, what's a good starter Western for people to watch? If they want to watch a good, good, old-fashioned Western, what should they pop into the old DVD? Well, play? you know, you can watch any, any Hopalong, Cassidy, Lone Ranger, any of the early TV series. You know, in the 40s and 50s, at one point there were 26 uh, major westerns on TV at any one time wow. during the week. And, uh, you know, they're just part of American history. So I think anybody that wanted to start would start with any one of those and uh, and they'd see the difference in what uh, what typical of the films of the period. Excellent. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, Bob Sigmund, he's the director of the Lone Pine Film History Museum. And uh, uh, good luck with the, the coming festival. I know yeah, you're probably already planning People check our website. We also do events throughout the year. And for Valentine's Day, we have a Johnny Cash and his uh, wife impersonator coming up for uh, for Valentine's Day. Awesome. All right. So, again, LonePineFilmHistoryMuseum.org. You can find out all the information about the Lone Pine Film History Museum. Thanks, Bob, for coming Thanks, on. Kyle. All right. That was Bob Sigmund, director of the Lone Pine Film History Museum.